Hello and welcome to a series I titled hastily while I was uploading the first video in the series called Why Does Nobody Bring Up? Now, in this second episode, I want to talk about Nisian again with some drama from him that is far more enjoyable and nowhere near as fucking depressing as the last episode. It's still depressing because Onision's an awful person and the way he did this is just scummy. Now, I'm going to do a disclaimer. Please don't do what Onision does here. When you've seen the video, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, but just keep that in mind. When this is finished, you'll understand. Now, let's talk about how Onision killed a friendship. Pretty much the only friend he had for a very long time. And that friendship is with a YouTuber and Twitch streamer named Seer. Now, Seer spends most of his time now on Twitch. He hardly ever tweets, and the last upload on either channel were these. I don't know if they are, because they might have been changed by the time I upload this. Now, on both his main channel and Onision's various channels, he used to make a lot of content with Mr. Onion Boy. However, one big day changed all of that. That was Tuesday, November 6, 2016. I have no respect for women who voted for Trump, okay? Yeah, I think so poorly of them, and the reason why is because Look, I don't think that you're a single issue voter. I just think you're dumb, okay? I think you're fucking dumb. Now, I missed something because I was sure Jeb Bush won everything by a landslide, but doing some Google searches showed me that some guy who had a bit part in a Home Alone movie won, and this really pissed off Onision. So much so that to this day, he still obsessively tweets about this bit part actor. Now, I'm gonna state an opinion here. If you're friends with someone, if you're truly friends with someone, who they voted for shouldn't matter. I've got Republican friends, I've got Democrat friends, I have a friend who wrote in for Mickey Mouse in 2016, and I've got someone who thinks that Bernie Sanders should have won the election. Straight up. Like, he was apparently cheated out of all the votes. I, I don't understand his reasoning there. But if you're truly friends with someone, who they voted for shouldn't matter. I know by just saying that, I must have pissed somebody off. That's how I feel. Now, the Seer and Greg had previous spats before. Who doesn't get in small fights with friends, honestly? But this was the killing blow. Greg had voted for Hillary Clinton pictured here, and she's been around the politics game for a very long time and someone Greg was invested in. Now, Sear voted not for Donald Trump, but instead for third-party candidate Jill Stein. And Onision got so upset at Sear, the fact that he voted for Jill Stein, that he flipped shit on Twitter. Now, I could maybe understand Greg's point of view if he had voted directly for Trump, but he didn't. Sear voted in a state that was going to go for Clinton anyways, right? Sierra just did his natural right and voted for who he wanted to vote for. Instead, Onision flubbed shit at Sierra for voting for the living equivalent of plain flavored jello. Now there were legitimate reasons not to vote for Trump, there are also legitimate reasons not to vote for Clinton. And voting a third party is a reasonable protest. However, Onision's politics are pretty much the definition of either you're with me or against me. And that's how he lives his life. And you can look into his career and see that. And it, it's shameful to act that way. I, I think it's shameful. You know, it's, it's so rude to take politics and make them so important in your life at that point that you're willing to cut out friends. But we're going to read the tweet chain that killed said friendship right now. After all the people who fought and died so you can vote you refuse to, it is a disgrace, uh, says Onision, and then he calls Seer a typical white male as some sort of desperate clinging insult. Seer retorts to the fact that he did vote, just not for who Greg wanted him to. Now, with this next tweet, I, I want to talk about this also. I hate the kind of people that pull the shit that Onision is going to pull in this next tweet. Please, if you're a good, decent person, Never pull this. Next level sociopath, after all the thousands of dollars I invested in you and many times I've forgiven you for being a bad friend, bye, Seer. Now personally, I'm of a belief that you shouldn't ever hold money over someone's head like this. It's incredibly disgusting and it's also rude as hell. Now if you loan someone money and they never paid you back, that's bad, sure. But if you give someone money and then dangle it over their head like a fucking carrot on a string, you are an asshole, straight up. All right, Onision, if this is such a one-sided relationship and take down every single video of me in it, I'll happily do the same for you, uh, says Seer in a text response that Onision sent to Seer. Now that text, you can look at the screen cap there, and Onision actually unsubscribed from one of Seer's channels. Such a rude fucking asshole. Onision then tweets at him saying that he's going to block Seer, and that's the end of the tweet chain and friendship between them. Now, after the drama happened, Seer went on to a couple podcasts to talk about it. The first one was Hot Wet Soup, hosted by Bionic Pig, Elvis the Alien, and F Time Zaptai. And the episode is pretty good. There's a link to it in the description as well. I'm gonna play a semi-relevant clip that's uh, relevant to both this and the last Onision video I made, so... 
enjoy that. Like, I still think his morality's fucked. Like you, you hear about that that little girl forum thing that he has, dude. That, that's what I'm saying. He 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 justifies what he does because it is not illegal. But bro, that doesn't mean that it's not fucking creepy. You yeah. can be a <laughs> creepy ass bastard yeah. sitting there at the park as a 31 year old watching teenagers hang out, you know, underneath the bleachers, raiding them, you know, staring at them. And yeah, that might be legal, but that's still fucking creepy. It's called being accepted into society, not not being a fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> now, he was also on Tommy C's Shop from a Point. And while I have a personal disdain for Tommy C, make sure to ask about child support, y'all. The podcast episode with Seer was shockingly pretty good for Tommy C. There's a link to that also in the description. Now, after all this, both of them dropped diss tracks on each other because this is the era of diss tracks made by total mongoloids who can hardly sing. Sears diss track, I really cannot find online. It could just be me being a boomer, my searches could be worded poorly, but I cannot find it. It might just be delisted and nobody ever re-uploaded it, but I don't know where it is. In the same boat, Onision's isn't on his channel by the way, so I could not find a regular rip of that video. Instead, I had to find some kid recording a monitor with his phone, and now I'm gonna play a little of this because it's awful, I hate it, and I want people to suffer with me. So I also suck at making songs because I'm not that quick. I have a Russian prostitute as a girlfriend, yeah. She only costs 50 bucks because I ain't got no cash, no. And my mama loves to suck my d It's a fact. Don't look it up. Trust me on that sh See her is a fact and he fact all day. If you don't agree, then unsubscribe, bitches, yay. Okay. Let's talk about him going after me and my family. Bitch, you don't even have a f Now, later on, he did bring up Sears' name in another tweet, and I do want to bring this up. Now, I, he talks about himself in the third person in these tweets, by the way. That's not funny. Don't ever talk about yourself in the third person. It's annoying, unfunny, and it just makes you look like a cunt. If I ever end up talking about myself in the third person on Twitter, like, Hey, Fuzu's doing something big. Please, for God's sakes, just call me a cunt. Please. Now, in the tweet, he talks about uh, Jacqueline Glenn and Social Repos. Two people that, honestly, I don't care about other than the fact that Social Repos is such a fucking spurg lord, and he still looks like this. That's not the point, I just want to make fun of Social Repos. But he says that Seer didn't talk shit about Onision until Onision unfollowed him on Twitter and dumped Seer as a friend slash ejected Seer from his life. Oh, we're voting for Jill Stein! which was like voting for Jeb Bush, but slightly less pathetic. It's also something that you'd say, yeah, no shit, he probably wouldn't have said anything about you. He probably wouldn't have talked shit about you until you did something rude, which he did, Onision. You kicked a man out of your life because he voted for Jill Stein, which is like saying, I'm gonna kick someone out of my life for stepping on an ant. He did nothing. Clinton still won California. Trump didn't win California because Sear voted for Jill Stein. You'd have to be genuinely stupid to think that. Now, I know if I don't bring this up now at this point in the video, someone is going to mention this in the comments. On the 10th of November 2016, Seer posted a tweet saying, I feel sorry for Onision's kid. Can you imagine growing up with your dad making content like this? And he links to the We Broke Up video. Now, I've never seen that video, but the thumbnail does look awful. Onision then tweeted to him, To bring someone's small child into beef you have with someone, that's pretty low. I ended our friendship, get over it and fuck off. And Seer went off and had a little bit of fun with that. So as Seer gave him a little bit of shit over time, it eventually died down. There are a couple more events to bring up before the ending here, so we're gonna bring this up and we're gonna end. So Onision ended up selling merch with Seer's face on it after the split, which is a dick move. You know, shitting on the guy who helped you, who made content with you. And because he didn't vote with you, you cut him out of your life, and then you sell his face, his brand, to make money. That we know you would never give to him is such a fucking dickish scumbag move. And it's indicative of the kind of shit Onision does. And then Seer and his girlfriend at the time, I'm honestly not sure if they are still dating. I Looking into things is a little rocky there. But his girlfriend at the time was apparently such a bad person, well him, Seer and his girlfriend, were such bad people on Onision's side, that Onion Boy decided to eventually remove all videos with Seer in them. You know, when he wouldn't also remove Shiloh's videos even if he requested him to. Now, I wanna bring up the fact that a lot of the videos and info that you found here was gathered from multiple sources. All of said sources can be found in the description, and straight up to some of y'all on Tumblr, y'all are amazing at archiving. 
keep the good work up. Onision genuinely is a piece of work, and I think the two videos I've made so far have shown that. I've really tried to talk about that in a deeper sense. And do I think he'll ever get better? The answer, no. I, I do not. I don't think Onision will get better with this kind of shit. Alright everyone, thank you for watching the video. I want to send another shout out to my friend Claw. He's a solid fucking dude. He helped me out, he advertised the last video. It went from having 100 views, which I thought was really good at the time, because if I can break 100 on most videos, I feel like it's a win. <laughs> to, uh, I believe right now, from, from 100 views to 5.2 thousand views, which is my biggest view jump since the Winnie Wisconsin video. Where I made a video about a woman who sleeps with animals. Um, it also was my biggest sub month ever, where I went from having, or went from about a hundred some odd subscribers to uh, 412, I think, right now. So yes, an insane amount. Uh, 415 currently, actually. So an insane amount of growth um, from just one video, which I'm impre I'm incredibly proud of, and I'm incredibly thankful of for Claw. He's genuinely a good guy. Give him as much love as you can. Now, I do want to address a couple of comments from that video because I'm I'm starting to read into it and I'm trying to make sure I, I go through and address everything. A lot of people think that it was a, a bad drug trip or something that caused her to you know, sort of have some issues in that video. Um, some people think she was faking memory loss. Um, some people that it was a breakdown with the memory loss is fake. I, my opinion still stands for that video. I, I do... I do agree with some of the stuff that I saw in there where it was like people saying it might have been a pre-seizure, something similar, um, neurological conditions. I, I will admit, I'm not a mental health expert and I will say that 100%. I think um, it, it genuinely was what was hard to watch those videos. And uh, there was a comment that um, I, I do want to bring up because I know somebody, a lot of people had the issues with this video, so I do want to mention it. Uh, a comment said, are we sure Shiloh wants to be keep mentioning all the Onision outrage? It seems her history is open for people to use, yet they consistently blame Onision for doing the same thing. Um, and, and I said in that, I replied to that comment, I said, I can understand that, but in the case of archiving to hold someone like Greg responsible for things, it means you have to bring up pretty much everybody and hold his ass to the coals, like Seer, Sky, Billy. And you really do have to put him on blast for that kind of shit. And it's hard not to without bringing up awful things for people probably don't want to remember and I fully understand that uh, you know she did come out better for it she has a musical career she's touring she's doing shit she, her life is finally back on an active trail after the events of everything that happened to her and I think in the long term it, it genuinely is better for her now she experienced something awful, an awful person, and she's out of that. She's making relatively decent, from what I've heard, music. And, you know, it, all it'll take is her working on things. Onision, his channel is dying. In the long term, his career will fall apart. Because he doesn't try to evolve, he doesn't try to change things. You know, he's been on this platform longer than PewDiePie, who is the number one individual YouTuber right now, with however fucking many millions it is when I put it on screen here. Onision is faltering. He, he's been on YouTube so long, and he can barely break thousands of people viewing his videos. Which is baffling. I've I've watched YouTube videos since 2008. So I, I've watched stuff on the site for 11 years now. And I've never seen someone who's been on the website longer, but also falling apart faster. And he's, he's not like, um... Like, like, there's a lot of old guard YouTubers that fell off. But none of them have bled out this which is impressive. You know, you've got guys who are, like, they've been on the platform so long, but they're still growing. Like your PewDiePie's, like your uh, Cinemassacre uh, slash AVGN. 
you, you've got so many channels that are still growing and still evolving over time and people like Onision are just are just languishing over like and Onision's kind of just bleeding subscribers it's I, I can't say it's impressive but it must be really really depressing for him and you know He's made his bed. He really has. Um, do, do I think he's like an Austin Jones type? I, I don't think that. Um, like that clip from the uh, Hot Wet Soup says, he's very literal. And I, I, I don't think he's a pedophile, personally. I do think he's a bit of a groomer. That'd be my opinion on it. I would say, like the Shiloh stuff, he started talking to her before she was 18. Um, I, maybe groomer's not a right word. I, I'm i trying to, like figure out what he is because i i know he's probably done doing anything illegal he's being with these women they get of age but grooming doesn't not feel like the right word um this is just a small little rant at the end of a video i do have one more onision related thing that i want to work on because originally it was going to be a part of this video but that was when i originally recorded that video let me explain how much of a pain in the ass this was to make because i had recorded this first um on friday uh yeah right now it's monday the 24th i recorded this about three days ago and i went to edit it on saturday night because i had nothing to do and i you know, was like all right i'm gonna go out to breakfast with some co-workers later i could sit down i can edit this i can get it out by monday nope i could not the gain on that video was so fucked i'm going to play a clip from it Next little sociopath, after the thousands of dollars I've invested in you many times I've forgiven you for being a bad friend, bye seer. Yeah, that was the audio. I was like, okay, maybe I can pitch shift it, maybe I can make it sound close. And I got it to sound close, but every time it sounded unnatural, it sounded unnerving to me. And having to listen to 20 plus minutes of that, it was 23, it was 23 minutes that I recorded. Having to listen to that much audio, like, just shifted in a way that sounded close to my voice but also sounded off was not fun so i, I re-recorded the video i did a lot of things similar i changed up some things i cut out some stuff for time and i decided i'd do the onision patreon video where i compare his patreon to others and explain why i think he's failing um that's that's down the road that's not this week that's maybe next week um, I've been working on more content, and I feel like some people are going to be excited for it. Some of it's gaming related, some of it's drama related. Um, mostly looking into older stuff. There's some old drama that I want to bring up that just nobody talks about anymore. Stuff that I remember, stuff that I'm like, that, that's stuff that should be relevant again. Um, so we're, we're going to work on stuff over time. I actually just quit one of my jobs because I work two jobs right now. Um, so I, I quit one job, mostly because I need to study to get another better paying job, <laughs> but also because I want to actually upload videos and I want, I want at least one video a week, not this whole like week gap between videos. So in July, you're going to get a video, uh, hopefully every week. Anyways, this is the end of my rant portion. Thank you for watching. Uh, here's a link to one of Claw's videos. Here's a link to the previous video. Um, here's a link to my Winnie Wisconsin video, which I recommend you watch. It's horrific. It's nightmarish. It's awful. And for some reason, the kind of people associated with her are everywhere now. So enjoy that. That's been fun. Zoo Files have been fun to talk about. See him on Twitter all the time. Uh, have a good one. Take it easy. I will see you soon. Check out one of these videos beside my logo, any one of them, claws especially. Have a good one.